cleaner babes Ashley here all right I am working on making a spring cleaning checklist and I got on Instagram and I seen Elizabeth from EJ joyful plans create this gorgeous bujo spread and I was like you know what I need to recreate that in my own way and then I started looking up bujo spreads on Instagram and I got so inspired so we're gonna make a spring cleaning checklist which is something that I've wanted to do for a couple of weeks now <laughs> A little behind but that's okay so what I went ahead and did is I kind of mapped everything out and I did this off camera it's just using a pencil but it does take me some time especially with the like cursive writing because mine's not very neat and I wanted it to actually look decent so I did that and I have these mapped out by my kitchen living room office bathrooms my son's room the master bedroom and then outside and then for stickers I have two of the fun floral sticker books. They're both the same, both from the Happy Planner. I'm going to use these stickers because I really love that pop of yellow. And it takes both of these sticker books because I don't have very many of them left because I love them. Now I also have a Paper Mate Flare. This is in medium. I have a Tombow number 60. I really like this one. It's like a bluish gray color, really pretty. And then I have some of these Sharpie S notes. This one's a light pink. We have yellow, we have a light blue. And then I also have this like corally color one. I might use this one, I might not, I'm not sure yet. So we're gonna set that one off to the side. Hey guys, voiceover Ashley here. I just kinda wanna walk you through a little bit of um, the spread. So I always start with a pencil, always, always, always. Anytime I do any type of bujo spread, I start with a pencil. Now here is where I'm taking the Paper Meat Flare in medium and I'm going to outline the pencil. Quick tip, um, when you're using a Paper Meat Flare, if that's what you decide to use, and you have to go back in and erase your pencil marks, give it a little bit of time to dry. I don't know if this is because I've had these Paper Meat Flares for a couple of years now or if it's always been that way, um, but here recently I've noticed that whenever I go to erase my pencil marks after I've used the Paper Meat Flare, it starts to smear. Um, I don't think, I'm trying to remember when I first got these, I probably used them with a pencil. I just don't remember if they smeared. It might just be because I've had them for a while. I don't know. Just be cautious whenever you go to erase it. And that goes with anything that you're using, any type of pen, marker, whatever. Just make sure it's really good and dry before you go to erase it because it will smear everywhere. Here, I, I wanted to do the spring cleaning with yellow, but I went in initially with a pencil and erased it because I was just going to do yellow and I wanted to see what it would look like with just yellow, but I decided to go over the pencil markings with, um, what did I use? I think I used my, uh, what is this pen called? Hold on, I have to grab one. Uh, the Sharpie S gel. Yep, my Sharpie S gel. So I went over that with the Sharpie S gel and then I took the yellow Sharpie S note to kind of highlight it. And I really love the S notes. If you don't have them yet, I do recommend them. They are very similar to a mild liner. And I actually have a review video up of the Sharpie S notes. So if you want to check it out, um, I will have that link down below and you guys can watch that video. All right, now that the Paper Mate Flare has kind of dried a little bit, I do go back over that and I erase the pencil marks. Now, I didn't erase every pencil mark. I just erased the ones that you could see because where I went over them with the uh, Paper Mate Flare, some of it I did pretty good, some of it I did not. So I only erased the pencil marks that you could see. And here I'm just going to finish up doing the yellow on the spring cleaning. I wanted to make sure that the Sharpie S gel was dry. They do dry pretty fast. I don't have any complaints with that, but I like to wait and give it a little bit of time. And then you'll see me marking it on my hand 
and sometimes with yellow any type of pen that you use or whatever um, it can change the tip color of your like the S note so I like to mark it on my hand just to kind of take some of that black color off of there that way it's not smearing across with the yellow here I'm gonna take the Tombow and go over where I did the Papermate flare pen just to kind of add a little bit more color to it make it pop a little bit more some of it I kind of messed up so I just went back over it. I didn't want it to be like super straight lines like yes some of the boxes have some fairly straight lines but I did freehand all of it I didn't use a ruler in this usually when I do Bujo spreads I like very crisp straight lines I like to take a ruler make sure my lines are straight but for this one I wanted more of like a little whimsical um, sorry if you heard that I just hit my desk but I wanted more of like a whimsical feel for it so I didn't mind that I kind of messed some of it up and actually I tried to go back over some spots to make it look like it was intentional <laughs> even though it wasn't so Tombow is finished and here I'm going to go in with the Papermate flare and I'm going to title each box. So like I said in the beginning, I already have them categorized by rooms in my house and for outside. I remember you being hopeful, but the tall waves have worn us down and slowly we are drowning. That's why you need to come with me, with me, with me. Turn around 180 degrees and cross the sea. I will not let us fade away. It's not a price I want to pay, and it's not too late. All right, now comes the fun part. I get to start decorating more and using these gorgeous floral stickers. I love these so, so much. I did go a little ham on the floral stickers and on this first one, you'll see me put it down, and I did go ahead and cut the leaf off to make it look like it was behind the box. I had intentions of doing that for all of the stickers that I put around the boxes and the circles, but I decided not to. So this was the only one that I ended up cutting. The rest of them, I let them overlap.
All right, here's where I go in with my pen and I started making lists of everything that I wanted to spring clean for each room. And I thought here is where I would be done with the stickers, but I actually come back and I started adding way more. And uh, sometimes that happens. I think it turned out cute either way. Just let me know your thoughts. Was it too many of the floral stickers? Did you like the balance of it? Let me know what you think down below. But I did off camera brainstorm what I wanted to clean in each room. Also, you may hear my laptop in the background. Um, it's, I call it airplane mode. It sounds like it's an airplane about to take off whenever it has to do work. <laughs> but I did off camera sit down and I started to brainstorm what I wanted to do in each room before I started to write everything down. That way it made it a little bit faster and I also had everything out of my head. I'm sure there's things that I'll do that I didn't write down or things that I forgot that I want to do or whatever, but I did brainstorm that off camera. I just wanted to let you know. Here I'm taking a Happy Notes sheet and I wanted to try something out. So I did the Paper Mate Flare like I did on the other one. I went over it with the Tombow like I did on the other sheet. And then I went over it with the yellow because like I said I wanted to pull more of that yellow and have more pops of it in there. But I didn't end up doing it. This was just like a trial thing just to kind of see if I liked it. I didn't like the way it was looking. Um, so I decided not to do the yellow on the actual spring cleaning sheet because I was going to go over the boxes and circles with it. But... I just don't think it turned out like it just didn't look cute like I thought it would. Same thing with the pink. I pulled that like coral pink color out because I thought about doing that too. And I, I thought, actually, just leave it alone. It looks good the way it is. Don't add too much around the boxes and stuff and just kind of make it look like a sloppy mess. So for the lines that I just put on there, um, I seen Elizabeth do this with her spread. Now she did hers as her weekly layout, but she used like boxes with the lines to date hers. And I'll link her Instagram down below. You guys should definitely follow her. But I didn't want to like date it or anything like that. I just wanted to do the lines and that's how I pulled more of that yellow in. And I think it was just enough. It wasn't too much. Like if I would have run around the boxes with the yellow or with that curl, coral color I think it would have been way too much and so here's where I'm going back in and adding way more stickers
So I haven't done a word of the video like I used to do. I kind of forgot about it if I'm being honest. And so I want to do that for this one. But instead of a word, I want you guys to tell me in the comments if you've watched this far, tell me what you're most excited about for spring. For me, it honestly is, it's the warm weather for me. It's like the thought of summer coming, I'm so excited. I live in Ohio, winter here sucks, it's always cold. I mean, it's not as cold as other places, but it's really cold here. Um, we got a lot of snow and a lot of ice this year. It was, it was awful. And I'm just looking forward to summer. So spring to me is like, it's like, it's prepping me. You know what I mean? Like fall preps me for winter, spring preps me for summer. So I'm most excited about the warm weather, the sunshine. We have flowers blooming, the birds are out. And it's just, it's just a great time to me. And I actually am pretty excited about spring cleaning. I know some of y'all are like, I hate cleaning. It drives me insane. To me, I love to clean, um, actually use cleaning as a way to procrastinate, but I do love cleaning. I love reorganizing things. I love like cleaning out closets and, and putting away winter stuff and bringing out summer stuff. It just, it gets me so excited for summer and I feel like I kind of have a fresh start going into summer and bring, being prepped for it. So let me know what you guys are most excited about with spring. Hang out here with me. We are almost finished. I know this has kind of been a longer video just to show you how I made a spring cleaning checklist, but I do appreciate you watching. All right, guys, I think I got it finished. I went a little crazy with the stickers, but um, these florals are one of my favorite florals. I really do like these ones, so I don't mind having an excessive amount. It's all good. I really do like the way that it turned out. I think it really, looks really, really cute. I think what I'm gonna do as I get things done, I might pull in some more of this yellow, and maybe highlight them to mark them off as I finish them, because I think that'll really make it pop. But then again, honestly, I probably won't. That's just the truth. I love making these. I love using these for reference. So whenever I am doing my spring cleaning, I will, like when I'm cleaning out the kitchen, I will look at this and see everything that I want to get done. Coming back in and highlighting it, that's a little bit iffy, but I do think that using more yellow would make it pop a little bit, which, like I said, that's what I was trying to do with this sheet was see if it looked okay. And that's how I was going to bring it back in, but I like the lines better. I seen Elizabeth do that and I thought it just looked super cute. So that, my friends, is going to be my spring checklist. I hope that it inspires you to make one. Listen, quick tip, if you are doing spring cleaning, I know that many of us make these giant lists like this and it can get very overwhelming, but I wanna tell you to take it one room and one day at a time. So I may do the kitchen in one day because when you're spring cleaning, you're moving things out. Like I'll move the fridge out, the stove out. I'll clean out the entire pantry. Like I literally take everything out of the pantry, um, check expiration dates and stuff like that. I clean the entire pantry, all the shelves, all the stuff, and then I put everything back. It's a lot of work. So don't think that you have to do all of this in one day because you absolutely do not. Even if you need to take a room and break it into multiple days, do that so it's not over so overwhelming. So that's my tip when it comes to spring cleaning. That's what I like to do. Also, if you have a friend, that you could invite over, maybe have a few drinks or something and turn on some music, hang out, laugh, joke, have a good time and just clean stuff up. Sometimes I have my mom come up and help or I go help my mom do some spring cleaning and stuff. So definitely different ways to get through this and not be so overwhelmed and stressed out. And don't forget, if you don't get to it, it'll still be there the next time. So don't worry about it. All right, my friends, I hope you have an incredible day. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.